If you're looking for a used pickup truck, there's no shortage of available models out there. The challenge is sifting through all of your options while sticking to one budget. The good news is that we at All Auto are here to help. Now here is a list of 10 solid pre-owned candidates that cost less than 10 grand. In this price range, trucks often have a lot of miles on them and some have been used for hard work. But if you do your homework, you can find a capable, reliable pickup truck that can get the job done. 2011 GMC Canyon A starting fair purchase price is $9,598, but it can be cheaper or higher. The recommended engine for this truck is a 5.3 liter V8 engine. The GMC Canyon is a good truck because of its dependability. The mirror image of its sister vehicle, the Chevrolet Colorado, the GMC adds a few upscale touches, but for the most part, the two trucks are interchangeable. As with the Colorado, the Canyon offers a choice of 4, 5, or 8 cylinder engines in 2 or 4 wheel drives. The engine that would be recommended is a 5.3 liter V8. The Canyon had a national recall for shift position indicator which may keep it from starting in park or may make it roll away on exit. However, General Motors will cover that and we assume most vehicles involved have been fixed. The Canyon also has a problem with the throttle body, but General Motors has extended warranty coverage on that item for 10 years and 120,000 miles. Get a well-maintained example, change the oil, and you'll have a good truck that will last you a while. 2010 Ford Ranger The suggested starting fare purchase price is $8,764, but it can be higher or lower depending on where you buy it. The recommended engine is 4.0 liter V6. The 2010 Ford Ranger offers good road manners and a handy size smaller than its full-size brother, the F-150. Now some were equipped with a 2.3 liter 4-cylinder engine and a 5-speed manual transmission, but the 4.0 liter V6 with automatic transmission is a good upgrade. Although not the most powerful truck in its class, the 4.0 liter engine provides the Ranger with brisk acceleration and a 6,000 pound tow rating. A couple minor things to watch out for include thermostat failure, but happily the thermostats fail in the open position so there are no overheating issues. There's also a technical service bulletin for replacement of the left catalytic converter. The average failure for this truck is at about 55,000 miles, which is very low, but they are warranted from the factory for 8 years or 80,000 miles, so that's no big issue. The only minor problem is heater blend door actuators can be a problem. Other than that, it's a good truck and also a very good truck if you're looking to buy one for under 10 grand. 2007 Toyota Tacoma Starting fair purchase price would be about $7,781, but it could go lower or higher. The recommended engine for this truck is a 4.0 liter V6. Now why is the 2007 model on the same list with 2000? In Tacoma's case, the reason is dependability. While the truck is worthy opponents, none can touch the Tacoma's long history of reliability and high resale value. Wrapped in muscular sheet metal with a powerful V6 engine available, the Tacoma has much to offer those who take their pickup trucks very seriously. Now like the larger Toyota Tundra, the Tacoma is pretty well trouble free. Owners have encountered some problems with ABS weed spiel sensors and hub bearing assemblies, but usually only on high mileage trucks over 100k miles, and in that price range, you'll find trucks with less than 100,000 miles. Occasionally, park neutral switches have been replaced on these vehicles for a no start condition, but that is an infrequent problem. Don't let its advanced age scare you off. Even being more than 10 years old, a 2007 Tacoma is a good truck that can deliver many long years of faithful service. 2010 Dodge Dakota A starting fare purchase price is $9,034, but it could be lower or higher. The recommended engine would be a 3.7 liter V6. Labeled a mid-sized pickup truck, the Dodge Dakota offers a trimmer package that makes it easier to negotiate congested city traffic and crowded parking lots than recent vintage full-size pickups. It is available in four distinct trim levels with a choice of aft hinged rear doors, extended cab, or four conventional doors, crew cab. Standard is a capable 210 horsepower 3.7 liter V6. The dependability on this truck is strong, but there are a few issues with it. One is the heater core. It can plug up, preventing flow through the core and thus delivering no heat in the passenger compartment. If you like it hot, this one is not for you. And levity aside, this can be an expensive repair. 
Some Dakotas also have catalytic converter failures around 100k miles, and those too are not cheap to fix. That being said, well-maintained, low-mile Dakota can be a terrific all-round vehicle, neither too big nor too small. 2007 Honda Ridgeline A starting fare purchase price would be $9,116. It could be lower or higher, though. The recommended engine would be a 3.5-liter V6. The Honda Ridgeline is not a conventional pickup truck, and in the eyes of many of its owners, that's the beauty of it. It offers a roomy cabin for four with a great seat of front buckle seats plus a unique storage compartment below the truck bed. The ride comfort is similar to a minivan and there are mechanical similarities too. Another similarity is the Ridgeline offers traditional Honda quality. Now there have been some trucks that have encountered a few with misfire codes but those are most often caused by lack of maintenance. If you don't tune them up, all of a sudden they run poorly at about 100k miles. Right now, new spark plugs are often the cure, but the Honda engine can experience carboned up valves. Catalytic converters typically fail about 160,000 miles, more than most trucks, and some owners have seen hub bearing assemblies fail before reaching 100k miles. Still, longtime Ridgeline owners swear by, instead of at, their vehicles. The 2008 Dodge Ram 1500. A fair starting price for this truck would be $7,396, one of the cheapest on the list. The recommended engine would be a 5.7 liter V8. Rams have become known as one of the most comfortable and car-like of the full-size pickups, and the 2008 Dodge Ram is no exception. Its available Hemi V8 delivers 345 horsepower and 375 pound-feet of peak torque, and the 5-speed automatic provides smooth power delivery at any reasonable speed. Now the Dodge Ram is a good looking truck with a comfortable interior, but they do encounter some problems. One of the most prevalent occurs with the exhaust gas recirculation system, and it usually requires replacement of the EGR valve. Many cars have had failures with the transmission solenoid packs, and sometimes this requires a replacement of the transmission. That's not very good. Some Ram 1500s have also encountered problems with the evaporative emission system, and check engine lights are bothersome. Key to overall satisfaction is finding a truck with a solid transmission, so give each vehicle a careful test drive and have it inspected by a mechanic you trust. The Dodge Ram 1500 can be a great all-round vehicle, but an expensive transmission replacement won't get the relation started right. 2008 Chevrolet Silverado 150 A good starting fare purchase price would be about $8,211, but it could be cheaper or higher. The recommended engine would be 6.0 liter V8. Riding on a GM full-size truck platform, the 2008 Chevrolet Silverado offers a markedly better ride and handling combination than previous generations Chevy and GMC trucks and the same vintage Ford F-150. The platform includes a fully boxed frame, coil-over shock front suspension, and rack and pinion steering, and the result is a maneuverable, comfortable vehicle. Power delivery is more than ample, especially in the available 6.0 liter V8, but there are some issues to look after for. Fuel injector problems can occur, and while cleaning them can fix many of the problems, sometimes they need to be replaced. When oil pressure lights glow on the dash, it's usually caused by a bad oil pressure sending unit, a pesky problem. An ABS C0161 code is also common, indicated by an illuminated ABS light, and this typically indicates a bad brake light switch. To get this truck, look for low mile vehicles or those that have already had significant engine work. 2010 Ford F-150 A good starting fare purchase price would be about $9,642. The recommended engine we would recommend is 5.4 liter V8. This truck has many similarities with the Ford F-250 Super Duty that proceeds in on this list with essentially the same strengths and weaknesses. As a full-size hauler, the F-150 has few equals. A comfy interior accompanies a seriously capable work machine. Since it shares some engine and transmission configurations with the number 10 F250, it has many of the same problems as the model's roll-up. Timing chains can also be an issue with the available 5.4 liter engine, sometimes requiring engine replacement. And shifting problems with the transmission can also require a costly out-of-warranty replacement. Again, look for a well-maintained low-mileage model or seek out a vehicle that's already had an engine and or trans replacement. 2009 Ford F250 Super Duty the starting fare purchase price would be $9,520. The recommended engine would be a 5.4 liter V8. The Ford F250 Super Duty takes the full-size truck to the next level. 
Whether you're in construction, farming, or leisure time hauling, the F-250 will deliver an impressive level of capability, refinement, and convenience. Depending on spec, an F-250 can ride like a limousine or be one tough son of a work truck. The interesting thing is the F-250's schizophrenia. This truck often is a sweetheart up until 100,000 miles or so and then it can turn on you. After passing the 100 grand mark, owners have seen fuel pumps and fuel pump driver modules fail and they have also encountered engine and transmission problems. So look for a low mileage example and treat it with DLC. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any more videos of Cars on a Budget and much more. Check out the Cars on a Budget playlist and the video link down in the description. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.